Hey, how's it going? My name is Max. I've been getting into AngularJS lately, and it works great with my favorite module bundler, Browserify, but I came across some repetitive tasks in my workflow to which I created a solution. So, in this video I'm going to show you how you can improve your workflow when working with Browserify-powered AngularJS apps. Browserify is a really awesome module loader, but AngularJS wasn't really built with Browserify in mind, so when you introduce Browserify to your AngularJS workflow, you have to do many things twice. So let's take this simple Angular app as an example. If we wanted to add a controller, we would create a new file at maybe controllers slash appcontroller.js. This sample controller will just create a message property on the scope that says hello world. Now because we don't have access to our app variable here, without declaring it as a global variable, which we of course don't want, here's what we can do to register our app controller with the app. We can export a function that takes app as an argument and then registers our controller with it by calling app.controller, specifying a name, and hooking it up to our controller. Then we'll go back to our main.js file and load in the controller by requiring it and injecting our app. This works pretty well, but we're basically having to include our controller twice. Once to pull it in via Browserify, and then once again to hook it up with AngularJS. Now I'm going to show you how I think this workflow should look like, so I'm going to build a very simple AngularJS app using a little tool I created called ng-auto-bootstrap. Afterwards, I'll show you how easy it is to integrate into your workflow yourself. I'm using Gulp to run a little development server. My Gulp setup also automatically runs ng-auto-bootstrap and Browserify whenever I make changes to my JavaScript files. This is just a little simple HTML file that I've prepared for this video. As you can see, it does nothing more than including AngularJS and a bundled main.js file that is generated by Browserify. So let's start off by setting up our HTML file to make room for an app controller and then print out a simple message. Now let's create that app controller at source.js controllers appcontroller.js. This controller will do nothing more than setting that message property on the scope to hello world. With ng auto bootstrap, I can simply export it and I'm done. Now if I go back to the page and hit refresh, it prints out hello world. To make this at least a little bit more readable, I'll have AngularJS print the message on an h1 tag. Okay, that looks a bit better. Now let's add a second controller. This one will be called people controller. In the view, we'll do nothing more than rendering a list of imaginary friends. We'll create the people controller at source JS controllers peoplecontroller.js. Here we'll just create an array of names on the people property of the scope object. Simply export it, go back to the site, refresh, and everything's working. Now let's say that we don't want our list of names to be hard-coded into the controller. Instead, we'd like to leverage an AngularJS factory. This factory will be called people. With the people factory, we'll be able to retrieve our list of people by calling people.get. We'll create the people factory at source JS factories people.js. And this factory simply returns an object with a get method, which simply returns our array of people. We'll export that factory, go back to the page, and everything is still working. So how does this work? How come we don't have to manually hook up Angular with our modules anymore? The answer is that we still do, but ng auto bootstrap does exactly this for us. As you can see, it generated a file called bootstrap.js for us, which pulls in all our modules and hooks them up to Angular. Then in the main.js file, we only need to require this single bootstrap.js file to pull in all our modules at once. The cool thing is that you can configure ng-auto-bootstrap however you like. 
For example, I can say that I want my factories to be camel cased and have the suffix factory added to them. I'll show you how. To set this up, we'll take a look at the gulp file that I've set up for this little demo project. You really don't need to care about all the stuff going on here. We're just going to focus on this task called ng auto bootstrap, which is run every time before the browserify build step. So we can pass in options to our ng auto bootstrap gulp plugin. We are configuring the module type factory to have camel casing and the suffix factory added to the name of each factory. ng auto bootstrap is by default set up to look for factories within every directory called factories. By setting up camel casing and the factory suffix, ng auto bootstrap will take the file name, for example people, camel case it, and then add the suffix factory to it. We'll have to restart gulp real quick so that it picks up the changes that we made to our gulp file. Then if I go back to the automatically generated bootstrap.js file, you can see that our people factory is now called people factory. This originated from the file name people, which was camel case, so not much changed there, and then the factory suffix was added to it. If you don't like having all your controllers in one big folder for bigger projects, you can also configure where ng auto bootstrap looks for your controllers and factories and so on. You can also add prefixes to each module name and even omit strings. So if your file is called API service.js and you want the resulting service to just be API without the service, you can configure that with a single line of code. Please let me know what you think about ng auto bootstrap. I'm not super experienced with AngularJS, so maybe there are cool things I can do to improve it. I'm linking ng auto bootstrap and its gulp plugin in the description for this video, so feel free to check it out yourself. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below this video or create an issue on GitHub. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitter, where I tweet all my videos and other cool development stuff. Thanks again. I hope to see you soon.